But we leave again. Now we are leaving for Kharkov, situated on the northern border of the Ukraine. The Ukraine itself is the most densely populated state in Russia, one-fifth of its entire population being within these borders. And Kharkov is the largest city. It is a metropolis not only of the Ukraine, but of Russia. Students are sent from the most distant parts of Russia to take advantage of the educational facilities that are here in the University of Kharkov. There is a vast difference in the city of today and the Kharkov that was founded early in the 17th century. Today, the buildings are constructed to give the dwellers and workers all the benefits of sunshine and fresh air. Great power developments have necessitated the building of new... For example, in this huge electrical factory, the largest in all Russia, thousands of motors, coils, and other much needed electrical equipment is being constructed and turned out by skilled workers taught by American engineers. In walking through the streets of Kharkov, there is a constant fever of construction. New buildings are going up, new roads are being paved, new pipelines being laid. Everywhere, they seem to be trying to make up for lost time. Its great university, its huge factories and its museums and libraries make Kharkov one of the cultural centers of Russia. Its many railway lines connecting it with a great part of the nation are arteries that enable you here to feel the pulse of new Russia. Through here pass the spices from the south, the furs from the north, fruits, cotton, and wines. And here the junction is being built on soil that was unused before, the largest office building in all Europe. There are many evidences of great advancement in all parts of this great country, but this development, more than any other, symbolizes the ambition and stamina that is the new Russia.